Hello everybody, um, this is Tanya with Vintage Inspirations. I stopped at the Goodwill on Buford Highway in Atlanta, Georgia. And here you see some beautiful uh, pottery pieces, like creamers. It's made in Japan. There's the sticker right there. And they were the two big ones were priced at a dollar oh nine. So those do go in the cart at some point. And this is a beautiful. It's kind of to my me. It's kind of like a ethnic, authentic style. I'm not sure if it's African or vintage. I'm not sure, but I do put that in the cart. I put that in the cart as well as by large. It's a cast iron piece. I didn't purchase that though. Because I felt it to be modern. Yes, trying to look old. So that's why that was left behind. And these were gorgeous. I even saw some larger plates that belonged to it in another section. This was too cute. Someone painted a little chickadee. <laughs> and this was a cigar box. I think. Yes. So those went in the car. That's when I started. And I pretty much had the store to myself. It was so lovely. The music was at a nice pace. I'm not good enough for YouTube. That's why I'm doing the voiceover. <laughs> this was a beautiful piece. It was signed. It had a back stamp. I didn't purchase it though. It was in the hall, but I didn't purchase it. Decided at the last minute not to buy it. I'm really on the lookout for like a marble bowl that size or a, a beautiful mahogany bowl. So that's why I decided to put it back because it's really not what I'm looking for. I don't like to stand there and try to figure out if I want it or not. I just put it in the cart and then I decide later. And, um, you know, with the Goodwill, they have these cute little sections up front. Like, this is the white section, and they had the brown. We were in the brown when we first walked into the store. These were some candle pillars. And this is the blue section. This was a beautiful floral plate. It was made in China, which I was shocked. It's gorgeous. And those were some cute, like, cereal bowls. That was nice. Years ago, I would have uh, purchased that. I used to collect anything cobalt blue back in the days. <laughs> I was, I went through that trend. I had, like, shelves full of cobalt blue. And this was gorgeous, but it wasn't what I thought it was. As soon as I put my hands on it, I could tell it wasn't uh, what, I, what I thought it was. It's a reproduction, trying to be uh, vintage. And that was like a imitation um, Murano with some crackle glass on it. And nevertheless, it was cute. And this was a nice pottery piece. And someone donated a lot of things from like a store. See that tag says Southern Comfort? I saw a lot of pieces with that same tag. In fact, I purchased a piece. Yes. I'll show you when we get to it. And this was gorgeous. You see those beautiful pink tulips? Wow, if I had a spot for that. And then this, I don't even know why I left that. That was gorgeous. Oh, no. I don't like doing voiceover. I have to see everything that I wish I purchased. It's so hilarious. Wow, this is a red section. This was a beautiful Italian plate. Oh, my gosh. I wanted to buy it so bad. See, it says uh, made in Italy and it had a beautiful back signature stamp. Mm. That's beautiful. That would just look so nice in your kitchen. Or a hallway. And this is kind of like the candle section or vases. Those were cute little Ge Geico. Uh, bells, like little cow bells. Those were so cute. I should have grabbed one. I'm not sure why I didn't. Yeah, I, I um use Geico for my car insurance. 
And this was some kind of cutlery set. It was all taped on together. That was a cute little vase. I never did look at those Christmas mugs. I see R2-D2 on the shelf. And this was beautiful. It was made in Japan. See that beautiful sticker made in Japan? It's a ginger jar, but it was missing the lid. Otherwise, that would have went straight in the cart. And you can't even really use it for flowers because you can't put water in there, which is damage. That was a nice drip glaze piece. Like hull or other designers that made the same drip glaze. I used to have a, tons of that drip glaze pottery. I didn't look at that baseball. It could have been a signed piece. Uh, that was a nice candle voltage, a little sleeping cat. I used to have tons of those back in the days. And that was gorgeous. It was chipped up, though. I had so much fun. And this was beautiful. I don't even know why I didn't put it in the car. Isn't that gorgeous? A paper mache bird? When do you find a paper mache bird? Brand new with the tag in great condition. Oh, I don't know why I didn't put it in the car. I messed up on that one. And and I had and I just purchased that yellow bird case. That would have looked so darling in there. Oh my goodness. I messed up on that piece. I really needed that for that birdcage. Here you have a lot of planters. Didn't see any that I like. This was beautiful. A decorative uh, fan. It was Oh, the handle was broke, but that's an easy fix. If I had a spot for it, yes, it would have went in the cart because that's an easy repair. And those are quite expensive. I can't be careful purchasing candles because I have millions of candles. So they have to be real special for me to pick them up. That was a more modern piece. Cute little uh, cat. Someone made it. It looked like her name was Gabby. And this is a brown section. And yes, I bought that home. It's a piece of Ray Dunn creamer. It's beautiful. I don't know if it's going to clean out. So I, I have it soaking now as I'm uh, speaking. I put it in the sink. What was that? I guess that was just decorative. Like a science project with leaves. This was a beautiful folk art. A box and then it was another box inside and it was another one in there you could shake it and tell oh i really wanted to purchase that piece but i left it it's gorgeous but i mean because i don't know what i would use it for other than decoration during christmas time and it's not too decorative but if you were going to give uh whiskey away or wine that would be a great way to send it in as a gift that would be a perfect uh fine because the person will get the uh, beverage and then they can keep the box. This section here had a lot of nice um, items on there. I just couldn't uh, purchase them. Those were beautiful. I hate I don't even want to look. I hate I left them. You know, you hang them. I just couldn't think of a spot in my house for them so I left them 14 bucks I should have took a gamble I really should have oh beautiful 
And I really see things like that, so... Mm. And this is just beautiful. Folk art. I, I couldn't even believe that I was actually looking at that. I've seen something like that in a book before. I couldn't even believe I was actually holding it in my hand. Yeah, it caught me off guard. Uh, that was an easy repair. Beautiful scene. Hunting. You know, when you have your horses and you go hunting. You just All you have to do is nail that right back in. But I have so many, I just couldn't. But you know, that was real difficult for me to resist that piece. It was a beautiful scene on the front. I love those type of um scenes. Hunting, you know, with the dogs, just with those red jackets, beautiful. But we have to, you have to be careful just because it has a beautiful scene. That doesn't mean that you need to have it. And that piece goes in the car. It's gorgeous with those wheat branches on it. It's a little shelf. I didn't bring it home, though. It's in the hall. I don't know. Time I got online. So this lady, she was online in front of me. And she was admiring things in my cart. So I offered her to pick whatever she wanted, you know, except for my dress. I do buy a dress. So, um. And then as she was pulling out things that I gave her, I decided to pull some things out and I purchased them. And it happens, you know. And someone had commented to me recently, those were gorgeous. And the comment said, uh, don't purchase what you don't need. So I'm trying to keep <laughs> trying to keep that in mind. Don't purchase what you don't need. It's so hard. It's and then I reply, it's it's easier said than done. No, I didn't reply that. I replied, what did I reply? I wish it was that easy. Yeah, I meant to bring that. I meant to put that in the car. I meant to go back to it after I was filming, but I got distracted by something else. Because I really liked it, those bunnies. I could have used that because I'm looking for Easter items. This was a nice uh, silver plate creamer and sugar set. If I didn't have any, I would have maybe purchased that. And then you have some goblets. I should have checked to see if those goblets were sterling. You never know. I didn't even check. That was a nice uh, antique shell. And those were gorgeous. I put those in the cart. A spoon and a fork. That's art. Yeah. And someone actually twisted those and added the glass beads. It's vintage. They don't make stuff like that anymore, especially with that type of glass on it. This was beautiful. I believe that was Italian. That was gorgeous. Beautiful. And this was a handmade toolbox. I should have purchased it. I could use it for some of my crafts. I don't know why I left it. It's in great condition. No mold, no nothing. And I pretty much had the store to myself. It was a Friday morning. Oh, I was going to the dentist, but they uh, scheduled me on the wrong day. They closed on Fridays. The manager happened to pull up as I was uh, just about to get out. So um, I didn't want to just waste the morning. So I went to the nearest Goodwill. This was a gorgeous piece of pottery. I'm not sure. I've never touched nothing like that in my life. It just had too many chips. I just couldn't bring it home. Two dollars, but it was beautiful. You see, I was trying to look look at it to see what period it was from because I've never touched nothing like that before. It's a weird kind of pottery. Kind of like from like Ming Dynasty or something. I don't know. It was gorgeous. That was cute for like your dip and chips. It was all glued together on the plate. That was cute. I believe that was Italian. These were beautiful. Oh, that's mid-century. That is gorgeous. I don't know what you would use those for, so I left them. You had the Tree of Life and then some 
flower wine w wine that that was gorgeous and this would have came but once you picked it up you could tell it was modern if that was a antique that would have been beautiful i'm sure it wouldn't have been sitting there this could well had uh, quite a few beautiful things i was quite impressed And I thought that was silver overlay, but it wasn't just a painted on anniversary piece. It looked just like that uh, overlay silver. And a cute little teacup, a hand-painted piece that does go in the cart. $1.39. See, it has that same little sticker from somebody's shop. These were cute. Some pasta bowls. And they had like little pastas on it. See, your bow tie, your shell noodle. Those were too cute. <laughs> It wasn't good quality, and this was, oh my God, this was beautiful. I almost passed out when I saw this. I've never seen one in person, only in books. I forget the name of the pattern, um, but it had a chip, so I left it. I kind of wish I would have bought it, but you can't serve food on a, a, a chip. What if your guests get cut, you know, or when you're cleaning it, you can cut yourself. Oh, I hate I left it, though. Oh my God, it was gorgeous. What's the pattern? Someone leave it in the comments. I forget the pattern. It's cubic something, but um, I forget the designer's name. They sell a whole range of uh, punch bowls and every every they got the whole whole selection. I I never seen them in the wild. That was my first time, and I couldn't purchase it. I guess I could have with the little chip, you know. Um, I guess it's good to have something that you desire with a little chip. I did put that in the cart, but I left it. It's like two two fifth. Uh, the front was just too worse for wear. Too many scratches, so I left it. But I love that cow print. That was cute. I think that's a reproduction, though. Yeah, it's from home, home something. Every day is a new beginning. That had a chip on it as well. I hate I left that uh, crystal platter. That's to die for. This was a beautiful taco and dip. I, I should have purchased that too. That was gorgeous. It's in great condition. Even my daughter, she loves making uh, Mexican dinner like tacos, and she makes her homemade salsa. I could have even purchased that for her. Her and the kids would have enjoyed it. And these go in the cart, but that's what I gave to the lady on the line. I didn't need them. I don't even know why I was purchasing them. I love Pier Imports Vintage. Um, I, it's kind of hard for me to resist. And those were false crafts. I probably would have been better off purchasing those. They're better quality made. And here's another boring mug section. I remember in the mug section, you can find like five or five to ten mugs, not anymore. These caught my eye amongst all the glass that was there. I should have went back to investigate that uh, glass platter. I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop talking about it. I don't know why I left it.
Sometimes that could be like Versace, so it's good to investigate. They have uh, stuff trimmed in gold. That was cute. It wasn't uh, vintage, though. I thought it was. Reminded me of a bread box or, I don't know, put your flower. Here's another chip and dip bowl. This store was really dark. These bird cages were uh, uh, new. Otherwise, I would have put them straight in the cart. It was two of them. And then this is the uh, beautiful Christmas section. Oh, this was a beautiful mid-century tray. I believe that comes with a bar set. That was gorgeous. That should have gone in the cart too. That was a beautiful find. It had a beautiful back stamp. Age is mine over matter. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's cute. I should have purchased that. That was a nice pillow, but it was in rough shape. And they had this beautiful planter on the end that was nice. Put your pot in there and your plant. I didn't see any vintage Christmas. She was a darling. I wanted her to go straight in the cart. Those soldiers, I mean, they're called nutcrackers. I always call them soldiers, but they're nutcrackers. They had a lot of um, items from like Walmart, Target, World Market, and then just little, you know, side boutiques. There's another nutcracker. Those were so cute. <laughs> I like the lady. You see her little fringy hair? So cute. And that was a beautiful candle. I should have bought it home. I left it though. I didn't see a price tag and... Candles are very expensive these days. And then here's another one. Isn't she beautiful? Those were darling. Oh, my goodness. And she's carrying her baby nutcracker. That's so cute. And it was hard to leave those behind. They really was. You see, I just left because I, I, I know I don't need them. And if I had a friend named Scott, I would have bought that for him. That was gorgeous. A Christmas stocking. Those were some Delph shoes, but I have like six pairs, so I don't need any more. So I left those for someone else. I hope someone could enjoy them. These were hard to not put in the cart. They were just a little too grimy, and you'd have to get some like degreaser to clean them. So I just really didn't bother, but I kind of hate I left them now. I'm really not looking for red right now because we'll be going into the fall. So you need like fall colors. Like purples, lavender, you know. I mean, did I say fall? Not fall. <laughs> like springtime, yes. You know, once we get over this little cold. It doesn't stay cold in Georgia for long. Spring comes really early. That was cute. i never seen a stocking like that before. It's in the shape of like an elf boot. And it had a zipper on the back. So was that like a dog costume for a small dog? I think it was. And this is the section with the baskets. And that was from World Market. A small planter. 
If I didn't have any in my restroom, I would have maybe purchased that, but I didn't like it enough to change out something else. If that was more of a spring color, I would have purchased that. And this was a salt and pepper. I was trying to figure out what it was. It looked like a wine bottle, but then what was the square thing on the side? I wasn't sure. But it was a matching set. Some more candles. And that was a vintage piece. I believe someone changed the wheels out. And that should have a top to that clothes. That was cute. It was in horrible condition, though. That was gorgeous. A nice planter box. With some vintage flowers. Dry flowers, of course. Well, fake, yeah. Those were cute, but I have enough wheat in the house already, so I didn't purchase that. And then this was beautiful to hang your jewelry. And I didn't purchase it because I used to have so many, and when I moved here, I had to toss them. There's nowhere to set them, so I didn't need another one. But that was a nice find. And then uh, we have another white section. Some Ray Dunn. They didn't have um, a lot of puzzles. I think they had like maybe a couple puzzles, but nothing that sparked entrance. That was a nice puzzle. I don't even know why I didn't purchase that one. I really like that one. What I did like about this store is that mostly everything was so easy to get to. So I could film easier. I did like that. Like even the stuff, like normally this, this aisle here is so stuffed that you don't even want to touch it because all the bacteria, but it was just nice the way they had them, you know, it's not overly stuffed. I did purchase that. It's a little rust beer, and I mean, one little beer like that runs you about, I don't know, anywhere from 50 to 89 bucks, and I paid a couple dollars for it, so I did purchase that. I'm going to need to put that in the washing machine. There was quite a few more, but, you know, you can't buy everything you like. This was gorgeous, that kangaroo. Yeah. And I'm sure he's missing his baby. It's probably on the shelf. If you look for it good enough, I'm sure you'll find it. That was by Hershey's. You know, and one thing about plushes, they, you can just pop them in the um, washing machine. That was a cute piece of Simba. And then we had Winnie the Pooh next to him. And then I got stuck. On this little gecko. The TY. Remember those? I used to have a whole shelf full of those TY. I sold them all. Oh, he was gorgeous. Perfect condition. I mean, it was like someone just purchased it and just put it right there. It doesn't even look like it was old. Whoever had it took very good care of it. Uh, that was tough because I know I have nowhere to put it. It's bad if I already bought the teddy bear. But then when I got home, I was like, I should have bought him because the teddy bear could have had a friend. 
Um, no. You see, he looks so lonely. <laughs> he probably's like, "Why did you keep the uh, the uh, gecko?" Yeah, that's by Rush R U S S. It says it on the other end, but I already know Shoemaker is Rush. And then this is the stationary section. And you see how the shelves ain't too stacked where you can actually pull things in and out without it tumbling everywhere. This was gorgeous. You'd have to have an oversized bookshelf. That was beautiful. A Harry Potter piece. Gorgeous. You can actually hide your valuables in there on your oversized bookshelf. When I moved in this house, I threw out um, all my bookshelves. Well, not threw out. Donated. I sold a couple. I gave some for free. I had quite a selection. There's no room for that here. This was gorgeous. Coasters, brand new. I think from Paris. Well, it was a Paris scene. I don't know if they came from Paris. But uh, that was a nice find right there. Um, I don't serve drinks, so I don't need coasters. Yeah. I don't have any drinks in my house. All I have is water. And the, wa the water is in a bottle, so you can just... And I have, you know, something that's... I guess I could have purchased a pack. I don't know. It was nice. Okay, this is the book owl. Okay, we are still book section. I think I had the book sections all to myself too. That was cute. This is the house that Jack built. I had to look inside because I actually never saw one of these books. But I think this was a modern one. Yes. I do collect children's books, but I really don't try to buy them anymore because I don't have anywhere to put them. I have quite a few. I may show uh, one, show them in a video you know, I may decide to do a, a video on books one day. And I wasn't sure what this was. Are you supposed to color it? It was a poster book or something. I wasn't sure. Remember those, the highlights? That's why I was showing it. Do you remember those? I think I was like 11 and my aunt used to order them for us. They used to have so much fun. You get to draw and they had the science section then the cutout craft craft section and they had some, something to teach you how to grow plants and it was to be so cute I used to just love them and then my mom used to uh, make us throw them out when uh, we were finished I used to always hide mine under the bed <laughs> and one day she found my stash of like 10 <laughs> and she let me keep some <laughs> See 
how empty the store was? It's, this was Friday early, early in the morning. So I'm sure if you go in there during the earlier day of the week, that cobalt caught my eye. Cobalt blue glass, but it had a um some uh, company name on it, so I left it. If it didn't have that company name on it, I would have bought it. And then that, that caught my eye. That was cute. I'm not sure what you would have used it for because it's clearly not a coffee mug, but it had a handle on it. And the, the music wasn't too loud in here, but I still had to do a voiceover because it just comes through too clear. And I had my volume all the way down, but it still comes in. I'm not sure. I know there's something I can buy. This is cute. A oh, wicker, oh, wicker uh, vintage desk, but it looks like someone put a different top on it. Yes. It was really in rough condition, but I guess you could fix it up. In this section, I found a few cute things, but I didn't purchase anything. It was, um, I was having difficulty. The way they have the stuff stacked, as soon as you touch it, it starts falling. And you have to have a lot of strength to hold it to get to the ones in the back. Like this one, I had to squat down because I didn't want things to fall or break. That was nice. That was like on wood. So I wanted to get a better look at the um the mirror. And it was uh too uh modern for my taste, so I left it. You see I was holding it because I was scared it was gonna fall. Because the way they have them stacked up there. <laughs> Some store knows how to master how to put their paintings where when you look at them, they don't fall. That was gorgeous. It's like a, a painting. And if you don't dig through them, you won't be able to see what's there. You might be missing something that you really like. So you have to do it. I think if you have two hands too, it may have been a little easier come to think about it. Yes. I did have someone pull two things out of this pile for me, but um, why did I leave them? I don't remember why I left them, but I didn't purchase them. But you can see it right there. And it's just beautiful. It's like little mice and trees and kind of caught my eye. That's a squirrel. It's nice when you buy um pictures like that because you could stack them one on top and one underneath. It looks really cute and has that antique look. Brings that uh, antique vibe to your space wherever you're hanging them at. So if you have two pictures of the same, don't don't hang them side by side unless you want to. It's good to see. There they go. It's good to put one on top and one underneath. It makes it look so much more dramatic and it catches your eye. Those are gorgeous. They were prints. Yeah. They weren't too old, though. They were made to look old. And the frames weren't original, so I decided to... I think it said 91 on the... Yeah, 91. No, that is kind of old. But... And it had some cute um, items in this section, too, here. That, like that right there, that was beautiful. It's a beautiful uh, scene. And I was trying to see what these were. Of course, they put them in backwards. It makes it so hard to get to. I even forgot what it was. Oh, some Asian symbols here. That would be gorgeous, like in your... Uh, oh, those are really cute. Oh, I hate I left those. And I was in this section. This section here went 
on and on and on and on. I couldn't even film it anymore because my back and my neck and stuff was hurting. So I only give you some of it. And then I just looked at the rest after I rested in one of those big recliners that they had right behind it. But uh, this section went on and on. Oh, that was so gorgeous. I don't even know why I didn't grab that colorful one. I like that. That was gorgeous. It was like a pantsuit. Oh, <laughs> and I purchased that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it was brand new with the tag. The tags were inside. I didn't notice the tags until I got to the house when I was taking the Goodwill tag off so I could uh, put it in the wash. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. I'm going to wear it. I'll wear it on one of my videos. It is beautiful. It's like a two hundred dollar dress, and I got it for seven bucks for eight dollars. <laughs> and I wish I can get a better shot, but it's so tall, and like when you, I'm straining. You know, I had a lot of surgeries, and I'm like I'm straining myself. I almost bought that, but it was a little. Uh, worth for wear on the sleeve so but that was a cute little wool dress I mean skirt not dress yeah it's a skirt well I guess it is a dress it's a short dress yes I like those sweater dresses you wear them short with like your cow boots your cowgirl boots yeah it looks cute gives you that vintage look I hate I left that sweater now. Oh, no. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> and this dress was beautiful. Okay, it was my size. It was a size 12. But it looks so tiny. And that's because it's not made in this country, I think. I'm not sure. But, man, it was beautiful. It was definitely vintage. Isn't that gorgeous? It was velvet. Oh, my goodness. I know I couldn't have fit in it. The the uh, the sleeves, it was just too tight. And I held it up to the mirror. It, it, it wouldn't have fit. So I left it. I mean, you know what your size is and what you can get into and what you can't get into. So I left that. That was gorgeous, too. A nice vintage collar on that piece. I've been looking for something similar to that with that collar, but that just wasn't it. I'll find it soon. That's on my bucket list, to find a gorgeous shirt or a skirt or a dress. I mean, not skirt, a dress or a shirt with that uh, vintage collar. It's going to be an oversized collar and white. Yeah, that's on my bucket list. I was talking with one of the employees and she said she pretty much purchases stuff every day. Oh my goodness. She said she got to try to stop though because her whole check be going right back to the store. I said I can only imagine. There's no way I could work in a thrift store. There's no way, especially a Goodwill. Mm -mm. My check would be zero dollars. That was a beautiful vintage print, but it was a over it was an extra extra large. And as you can see, I had like the whole section to myself. I mean, like one lady came eventually, and I don't think I was filming at that point. That was a cute jumper, but I think it was for Halloween. Yes, that was cute. And then I noticed some animal print, but it really wasn't my style, so I left it.
I just think if you wear it, like, you know, the flap would be too um, open on it. So that's why I left that. If it was a different collar, I may have purchased that. And remember, when you're uh, purchasing clothes, don't just check for the designer name or the style of the dress. You know, check for quality in the buttons, in the details, in the hand stitching. That always adds character to the piece. And I would have purchased that. It turned out to be, I think, a maternity dress. Yeah, so I don't like to wear maternity clothes. My stomach is bloated enough. But it was brand new from Old Navy. See, says maternity at blue label. And it was really cute. It was a cotton dress. I'm glad it was maternity because I have a million and one summer uh, dresses. I don't need any more. At least not cotton. And that went in the cart, but I decided to leave it. Oh, it was so cute. I'm not sure why I left it. It wasn't just kind of, it was kind of cheaply made a little bit. Christian Alindo. It was really like cute religious, kind of like a punk rock piece, but I'm not sure why I left it. I just didn't kind of like the quality. It was kind of like that itchy polyester material it won't be comfortable when you wear it so I decided to leave that Yeah, see, I stopped because I was just, I couldn't even hold nothing at that point. I had to sit down for a while. So I got the, the uh, beautiful vintage dress and then the um, that velvet dress, but I didn't purchase the velvet one. The linen section was kind of sparse. Scarce? Yeah, scarce. Oh, I did buy that. I don't know that I didn't put it in the cart. Well, it went in the cart because it's in my uh, dine on my dining table. It's brand new. You can that you can like the zipper only went just a few feet and then it was sealed. You know how they seal them when you buy them from like Target or Macy's. So it's beautiful, brand new. Everything's included. It's all wrapped up on the inside. It's brand new. No one's never opened it. And I think those are at least a hundred bucks. And I got it for um, a couple of, it was no more than $7. It's a heating blanket, a, a, you know, like a throw and it's gorgeous. That was a really good find. I can use that when I'm on the couch in the living room or, I mean, I have a heating blanket in my bedroom, but um, you can always use one to drape around your back. And then they pulled this out the back. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's gorgeous. Had a nice signature. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art. 11 out of 50 or 60. And I couldn't bring it home. There's nowhere to, there's definitely nowhere for that big old thing. I'd have to just. I actually could have just went on the side of my bed now that I'm sitting here looking, but I, I think they wanted, uh, was it $70 for it? Mm, it's kind of not in my budget, so.
this was beautiful but um, it was so dirty and um, I think I turned the camera off to investigate it further it had no zipper where you could change the inside out and wash the cover so I left it and I found the cross I think I gave that to that lady on the line too yeah I gave her that and those dishes yeah she was like, you have some beautiful things in your car. I said, you're welcome to anything you want but my dress and my um, my heating pad blanket. <laughs> she was like, for real? I was like, yeah, help yourself. So she uh, got the blue and white dishes and that cross. And here was some more clothes, but those were all uh, small. So you can still look in there. I was in too much pain to dig through that section, so I just skipped over it. But, and I I meant to go back to look at this when I uh, once I was done filming, but I forgot, and I regret I regret it because I love Asian pieces like that with the dragonflies vintage. That's just a beautiful uh, handbag. Man, it wasn't meant for me. When you forget things like that, it's not meant for you. It's meant for someone else. That beautiful bamboo uh, handle it was gorgeous. That was nice too. Now I did go back for that and that bag there. Kind of gave me like a cowgirl style. I forgot about the other one. So I went back for those but I didn't like them. I went back for that one but it, it was too modern. Don't you hate that guys when you... Your eyes see something and you forget to go for it. That person would have came home with me. It's too late now. I forgot. I should have just put it in the cart when I had it in my hand. My cart wasn't near me. It was at the end of the aisle. No, I'm pushing my cart. I can tell. Yeah, This was gorgeous. I struggled with that because you could just sew that and put it back together. That was beautiful. The reason why I didn't buy it because the handle was too small. It wouldn't fit my arm like comfortably, so I left it. And they did have some beautiful, beautiful shoes and boots. But whoever donated those shoes, they had small, they had a seven and a half feet, so none of them could fit me or this other lady that was this little old white lady was trying to buy these shoes. I'm going to show them to you. Those were gorgeous. They were too small. Uh, yes, I would have purchased those. I love animal print. And I have quite a few, but those were in brand new condition. And I don't have that style where it's kind of pointy at the front and long. I have pointy but shorter ones in the front. And here you're going to see some fabulous boots. Oh, they had so many. Those are rock star. That's gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. It's just not my... Well, I definitely couldn't have purchased those because I can't walk. I had too many surgeries. I can't walk in heels like that. But those were beautiful and these were gorgeous. Oh, someone has some good taste. I believe they came from the same person because they were all the same size and similar style. Those were beautiful too. Like some shirling boots, high heels. Those were gorgeous too. Those were seven and a half. It's too small for me. Those were beautiful. Oh my gosh. Those are vintage. Oh, beautiful pair of boots. And I always look at the designer because sometimes you can go online and find something similar. This lady was trying to get those. They were just too small. They had a small little section of men's shoes. Next to that was all like sneakers. These were gorgeous. They were clocks. I love clocks. They were too small. That's real. That's real fabric. You see the hair in it? It's beautiful. Oh my God. Those were beautiful. I think they wanted $10. I was going to get them for my youngest daughter, but they were even too small for her. They were like a six. I think she needs a seven and a half. So there's another pair of those boots. I think they came from the same house i could be mistaken but those are uh, leopard clocks were to die for and it had a short little hill on it too and then this is the section with the blazes i did find a few but they didn't fit me 
I think, was that it? Yeah, that was beautiful. Uh, the fabric is like a cotton. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And then I found another one. The other one was a six, so I grabbed that. And put the other one back thinking that maybe the six would fit. But it was too small. I couldn't even get my one arm in. And they were brand new. Yeah, see, there's the other one. And so that one was a little bigger. The one that I put on the cart, you see it's smaller? It was a four. So... They were identical and they were both brand new. Beautiful. From White and Black Market. Do you know how much those would cost if you went to White and Black Market and bought one? Whew! Way more than a hundred bucks. I can tell you that much. Thrift stores are amazing. Oh, did you see that black and white tie? I missed that. Wow. <laughs> when I'm filming, I see a lot of things that I miss. I, have, I need to slow down, I guess. I'm already moving so slow. Like at this point, I'm exhausted. I'm pretty much delirious. And I'm just trying to st stay strong so I can finish the video. And then I want to purchase things too, so. Oh, that was gorgeous. That was 100% wool, antique. It was beautiful. It was too small. I was so sad. It was a large and it looked promising. But it was just too small. And it was beautiful. Remember that uh my friend's house that I had filmed that was beautiful coats in his closet? He had a wool coat similar to that. Yeah. His was uh of course better quality, but that was right behind it. It was beautiful. I'd have purchased it in a heartbeat. Man, oh man, when I tried it on, it was so tight. <laughs> it was so tight. I hate I had to leave it. It says a large, though. I'm just, maybe someone shrunk it by a mistake. They put it in the wash. I don't know. But or maybe they just ran small. I had to get an extra large. There it goes. I had to leave it. It was so sad. See, it's 100% wool. If you go try to buy something like that, it's going to run you almost. $200 and up, maybe $500, depending where you're getting it from. It was gorgeous. It was a beautiful uh, wool pea coat. And then here we are in the men's section. And I believe oh, I'll be checking out in just a bit because I was exhausted. I wasn't even done. But I just I had to go to the checkout. Oh, I looked at the jewelry case. Jewelry case was empty. Boring as usual. And if you notice, I didn't look at the jewelry until it was time to leave. Because I already know it's nothing in there. Not at the Goodwill. <laughs> Even if they have those jars of jewelry. I was in love with this shirt. But it was it looked like it was made for a child. It was very, very small. But it's Nordica with those uh, sh see those uh, uh, sailboats, beautiful. So after camera, I, I took it down to to look at it more. And it was uh, just too small. They had so much Ralph Lauren, but I didn't want to buy them all. Did I purchase any? Yeah, I purchased one, a red and white one. I will wear it and you'll see it. You know, that reminds me, I forgot to wear that blue and white shirt that I, I bought. I put it in the cleaners and um, it's hanging up. I washed it first on Delicate and then I put it in the cleaners. I forgot all about it. I need to wear it in one of my videos. They have some really nice uh, shirts. Really nice shirts. All different designers. I was going to purchase that, but I decided to leave it. See, that's the shirt that I did buy. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm shocked I bought that red and white shirt because it's not vintage Ralph Lauren. So I was shocked that I even bought it, but 
I just love the little uh, gigum pattern. It was really cute. So please, if you're watching and if you stay to the end, God bless you. But please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 500 so I could um start doing different things with YouTube. I need uh, 3,000 watch hours and 500 subscribers. So please subscribe to my channel. I keep forgetting to announce that at the beginning of the video because everybody don't stay to the end. And even if you're done watching, can you just let the rest of the video run? I'll be so grateful. That was nice. They had some really cute ties. I didn't see any Ralph Lauren's. I could recognize Ralph Lauren ties in a heartbeat. I don't even have to uh, look at the names of each one. They have certain uh, material. They're, I just know they're vintage um, ties. That was nice if you, like, for a man, like, you know, for graduation. What those tuxedo shirts here? It was in great condition. And that was nice. Ralph Lauren. I don't wear those type of Ralph Lauren shirts, especially not in the men's section. If I was going to purchase one, it would have to be a lady's. Unless it was a vintage one and I just couldn't live without it. This was gorgeous. Izod. I didn't get it though. This was gorgeous. Faded Glory. It was beautiful. Faded Glory have some uh, nice fabric too. They have that heavy like corduroy or denim fabrics to die for. And ladies, don't forget to check that men's section. They have some really nice things. I love oversized um, shirts, so that's right up my alley. Okay, so um, I guess I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. It'll be, I'll be wrapping it up and just once I um, finish showing this um, boring <laughs> jewelry section, <laughs> it's so pitiful. <laughs> you can't even buy one item. Hmm. You know, I keep forgetting I want to go to that Finders Keepers. May I, I doubt it. They have jewelry anymore, too. They used to back in the days. And I want, I've been wanting to go. I thought those were promising, but at, when I stopped filming, I looked. They were a modern. But if those were vintage Bakelite, they would have been really cute. That red pair earrings. Oh, that's right. I forgot I showed my haul before I checked out. And this was because I was going, you know, before I check out, I go through everything and make and I, it was a whole stuff stack of stuff that I left to the side that I decided not to get. I hate I kind of left that bowl. It was gorgeous. So this is what went in my cart to go to the um, checkout, but I didn't purchase everything. I got that teacup. I got the creamer. I didn't. The reason, only reason why I left those because it should be a fourth one. So it just didn't look good as a set. So if, if it was all four, I would have purchased one. There's one size missing. You see in between the second one and the big one, yeah. So I wound up getting that. The Ray Dunn creamer, the dress. And then I got a couple pair of sweatpants and then that heating blanket. That spoon and fork and that cross. I'll show you the cross on one of my videos towards the end. And I'm showing it to you there. See how beautiful it is? Those are all tiny little brass whatnots. Oh my God, it's amazing. And there's some like frisky pieces. They're so cute. Someone actually made it. This is what you call folk art. It's to die for. I don't even know why it was on the shelf. I'm shocked. Gorgeous. I love it. I love it. This is why I go to the thrift stores. And I got to find a place to hang it. And I bought these a spoon and a fork. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I love the little beaded glass. That vintage glass. And then they mold the pieces together. Just beautiful. I may sell that set. You know, I'm going to start selling things soon. I got to get a 